What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? The Red Local Gameplay here today. How's it going for everyone on this fine day? Jared here today, and as you people can see, I'm on my desktop as of right now, and to start a brand new video for all of you people. So, so today's video we are going to be doing, we are going to be setting up and configuring the Nintendo DS emulator, also known as DS Mium, and so. So what we're going to do for today's video, we are going to set up and configure the DS Mi uh, Nintendo DS emulator, DS Mium emulator, as we as we configure it and to set it up and to configure its sound and all together in one video. And so, before we start the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more daily content as I post more videos every day. I upload every day for all of you people and so... Without further ado, let's get started on this video, and here we go, baby. Okay, everyone. So as you can, uh, as you people can see, we are on my web browser as of right now, and so we are going to go to the specific website. We just type in the name. So it is pronounced D E S M U M E. D S M U M is where we need to go, and so. And so I will give you the link in the description for this video uh, for wanting to go to the, the Nintendo DS emulator. And so, so what we do is click on this website right here into and go to it. And so, as you people can see, the latest version of DS Mium is DS Mium 0 0.9, uh, 0.9, huh. 0.911. So that's what I was trying to say. Sorry, I was a little confused there. So yeah. So we go into download and to and to go into the into the download section right here. As you people people can see, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So these are the downloads right here. And so we go all the way all the way to the download to the area where it says stable releases. And so. So what we select is so what we select right here is if you have Windows then then you uh, then you will choose Windows if you have Macintosh or whatever then or other platforms then this is where you need to go so we are going to use Windows 64 bit okay uh, my PC is Windows 64 bit and so we're going to click on this and download it you will be automatically directed uh, to this download link right here and so and so as you can see we are we have downloaded and so we are going to close this out okay then okay everyone so as you people can see we are back on my desktop and as you people can see right here i have managed to extract the i have managed to put the file on my desktop to so we can extract it and if you, anyone wants to know how to extract it quickly, we just right click it and uh, and, and extract a file where it says extract to DS Mium, whatever. So we're going to click that and uh, and make it a move on. So there is the file right here and it automatically appeared right here underneath it. And so we're going to click the file for DS Mium and so and so we are going to and so we as you people can see there this is the icon right here that we need to open up and we are gonna oh, open up we don't need to grab we don't need to right click it or anything so we are going to so we open it and this is our basic settings right here for when we first install it and so so there's really no installation we just needed to download it and nothing else just an easy setup so yeah so now everyone so we are going to so we are going to config it by going to frame set, frame skip and so as you begin as you people can see what you need to do or in wanting to have the emulator to play to play smoothly is to limit the frame rate uh, limit the frame rate and select and then select zero never skip 
that way that way it would never lag it would never lag 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 the movement so it would not play smoothly if you play, set it to one two three four five and, and or whatever so i prefer to leave it on zero never skip to make to let it run smoothly so you so you will leave it to zero never skip Okay, so now, okay, so now, so there's really nothing we need to do for emulation settings right here, so, so we need, so we go to emulation settings, and as you people can see, we leave it at these right here, everyone, so, we don't need the BIOS for any, for any reason for the DS emulator in order to play DS games, and so, we, we close this out, and so, and so now it is time to go into 3D settings in the, and so as you people can see we 3D settings has multiple options right here so so I prefer to leave these alone in case you know what you're doing so here's what we're going to do we're going to select OpenGL 3.2 and so that's pretty much what I like to use right there. It depends on your PC. I mean, your D the DS Mume emulator can run slowly depending on your PC. So I try to I try to make the DS Mume emulator as best as I can as possible to run very smoothly. So so now we are going to go into microphone settings, and so and so as you people can see, we. All right, so let me retry that again. So in order to set up the microphone for the DS Mium emulator, which which the D Nintendo DS has a microphone uh, on the DS itself, and so, and, and if you people are wondering on how to set up the microphone for the DS emulator, you can set it, you can, okay, we go to microphone simulation settings, and as you people can see, we you can uh, connect a physical microphone, a physical USB microphone, onto onto your P for your PC uh, for the DS emulator by, by USB, and so, or you can use an internal noise sample or use RAM, the white noise not suitable for to assist, and, and, or use a microphone sample by using it by pressing a key on the keyboard. The, the band. and then you have to select a file for a music file to uh, to uh, for that to work but for mo for me I use uh, my connecting microphone that I'm using right now and so and so there we go and that's and there we go we have selected the microphone and we are going to set up uh, my control so if you have your own control, then that's fine. If you have your own control pad, such as like my control pad is a Logitech, Logitech F310, and so as you people can see, so so what we're gonna do is go to control fig, and so I use my D pad as my up keys, up, left, down, right, and B A Y X, select L R. Up left, up right, down right, down left, and so we we have so we have so we have can use a control config really so so I know that a control fig uh, really doesn't matter like for really doesn't matter for all of you people at this tutorial you can use your own controller USB controller or whatever you like to choose so so yeah so for display method. We we select uh, direct draw HW or you can use whatever. Just I go with uh, direct draw HW. So okay. So okay. So now next we are gonna do is to is to oh is to is to select a path for yeah. So we are going to. Okay, so before we before we uh, before we get into more on how, how to set up the sound, so I just want to make it clear for all of you people. So the sadness for learning up a game, the sound will be. I mean, uh, uh, depends on which game you play. The sound will be a little choppy, uh, like at the beginning of the game. All I had to show you. So 
Give me a moment, everyone. Okay, everyone. So, as you people can see, I am about to open a ROM. And so, so, just to give you an example, before I set up the sound to perfect quality to make the sound sound better. And so, so we are going to open a ROM as we, as we select a game. We are going to select Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. And so... All right, let me show you before, let me show you before I set up the sound settings to what I'm talking about. Nintendo! Okay, everyone, so as you, as you heard, uh, still see what I mean for the, how the sound that is for when playing Mario and Luigi's partners in time. And so let me give you another example as we, as we load up another game, which is Bowser's Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Let me show you everyone. So. Nintendo. Okay. Okay. So as you people can see the no, see what I'm talking about everyone. So I'm going to show you how, how you can make your sound, the uh, sound settings on perfect on your Dolphin, on your DS Mume emulator. And so Nintendo DS emulator, whatever you like to call it. And so, so we are going to go in sound settings to set up the sound itself. And so, and so what you want to do is to select is to as you people can see that there's a, a thing called synchronization mode and so what we need to do is to is to select synchronous synchronizes and we need to uh, and we need to literally literally leave it like this and so and so we and so for it and so we need to select a synchronizer uh, method uh, we select uh, sync method n and so and so that makes uh, that makes the nintendo ds emulator sound perfect and so so and so not only that we do and for the sound to make it sound better we go we select the X audio to interference for the sound core and two and for interpolation we we depending on your PC you will have to have a so it depending on your PC I go with the coasting uh, slowest sounds best so this is what you need to do so this is what you need to do uh, for your DS games to sound perfectly so I hope that this tutorial helped you I mean but we're not done yet. Just to be clear, we are going to. So that's pretty much how you set up the sound settings. So you will leave it all the way I have it if this if this helped you. So just in case, we are going to reload. We are going to reload Mario and Luigi Partners in time to see if it sounds perfect. Nintendo. Okay. Okay, so that sounds perfectly. What do you think, everyone? I hope that you all, I hope that all helped you. And just to make sure, we are going to select, we are going to set, we are going to select Bowser's Inside Story to see how it sounds. And so, Nintendo! Okay, so that worked out perfectly. So I hope you all liked what you had to hear. And so, and so it is music to my ears for all for my sake. And so, and so just to be clear, like I said, I configured my microphone. And if anyone, and, and just to recap, we go into microphone settings to set up the microphone. And then I use my connected physical microphone. As you people can see, I, I'm using a Samsung Meteor mic for the microphone. And so, so we are going to do a test microphone as we enter, as we enter as a side story. And, and so we are going to select the microphone test. And so, like I said, okay. So I hope that this will help you. So. Okay, everyone. So let us see if the microphone works. Um. Uh, ooh. Ee, 
Hey, look at that, it worked. Well, that was a quick, that was a perfect test for my sake, everyone. And so, I hope that this really helped you. And so if, uh, okay, so we are gonna close this out and do, and then reopen it once again, so. And so everyone, so if any, so just to be clear, and or, and you can, and you can change your win, and you can click on your window size for the DSM emulator, or, or if you go into this window and then, and then selecting view, and then go into window size, you can select it from one times to five times. So I prefer, so for my sake, I prefer, I prefer two times or. I prefer, or I prefer 1.5 times, like, like in case if I'm trying to record on the DSM emulator, and so, I really hope that this tutorial helped you all, so we're gonna close this out, and I hope you all liked this video, so, if y'all like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube channel for more daily content as I post more videos onto my YouTube gaming channel, The Radical Game Player, so... I hope you all like this video, so new video tomorrow, and I hope you all like this video, so until then, new video tomorrow, so have a great day, love you all, peace, bye bye.